channel if you don't know already I'm Jay that's Scout and this time we're back in Algonquin Park and we put him at the northwest corner at access point number one it took us about 30 minutes to paddle across the lake the lake is called well I can't see the actual name it's called Round Lake is the second name and all around the shore over there is cottages so there wasn't much filming to do a little bit of overcast day not the greatest weather for filming but now it's time to continue on pretty straight paddling when you're going down this little creek you just got to make sure you stay right when you're going to Norti, and when you're at the fork, you stay left when you're going back to the access road. On a previous trip in this area, we did a loop with lots of portages and we visited lots of small lakes. But this time, we plan to spend more time exploring Norti Lake and Manitou Lake. This trip starts off at the northwest part of the park, where we put in at access point number one and we head east to a very nice river section ending with two small portages to get into Norti Lake. And we look for camp for night number one. Then we continue on our way, making our way through the east arm, looking for campsite number two, which is close to the falls and the 585 meter portage into Manitou to late in search for a spot to spend nights number three and four then heading back to do a slightly uphill 455 meter portage to North T so we can make our way to spend night number five on Mango Tassie then we head west along the south shore to get to campsite number six before we repeat our first two portages to get back home very paddling friendly trip as we only have six portages to do compared to the 22 portages we did last time and speaking of portages here's the one here now Okay, we got 255 meter portage with a few man-made steps at the beginning to get us up the hill. Very well used trail and once it flattens out, you're done the portage and you're at the Park Ranger Memorial. First up we got FX Robichaud, Francis Xavier who was Park Ranger from 1921 to 1943 and actually died on the job when he got caught in a blizzard on Christmas Eve and was found dead in a cabin at Three Mile Lake, which is about 15 kilometers that way. And then we have Tom Waddy, who was a park ranger from 1914 to 1934, and actually he ran an outfitting shop and supplied Tom Thompson with some of his equipment. So now we're on North Tee Lake. Paddling conditions are pretty good. It's not too windy, it's still pretty calm. It's a little bit of overcast skies, but we got rid of the rain that we had earlier in the morning. And I can see some blue skies trying to peek through. The long range forecast only gets better, but the temperatures do really vary. We're going down to a low of six tonight and it's the end of August and highs of up to 35 and 37 later on in the week. So it's gonna be plenty of sun, but it doesn't look like there's gonna be much rain. So it's a big temperature swing, but it should make for a good trip. When you paddle in this part of the park, it's important to be aware of an advisory of an invasive species. The spiny water flea has been discovered in North T, Manitou, and Kayas, and it has potential to severely affect the ecosystem over time. If you look at the bottom of your booking, it mentions this, and from what I read from the Invasive Species Center website, they came from Eurasia in 1982, and by 1987, they were in all the Great Lakes. By itself, this tiny organism is just visible by the human eye. At 1.5 centimeters with an antenna, a single black eye, and a tail that covers six percent of its body. They can appear orange, green, or blue, and when the fleas clump together, they swim in a jelly-like blob that gets stuck on fishing line and boats. Because their main diet is zooplankton, which small fish feed on as well, the reduction of food will reduce the fish population, and also the spiny tail is harmful for small fish. In some studies, it has shown that where the spiny water flea was present, the native zooplankton species have declined by 30 to 40 percent. So it's recommended that we're able to identify, clean our boats and fishing gear before we move to a new lake to help prevent the spread of this invasive species and help preserve this awesome ecosystem for future generations. This lake has tons of campsites with beachfront property and just up ahead is one of those that we're gonna go check out. All right, let's go check it out. We definitely got plenty of beach, that's for sure. All the way down there, all the way down this side as well. There's only one thing to get scouts approval. That's all Scout cares about. Yeah, let's check and see what else we got up here. Yep, so, oh, I can see someone left us a saw, that's for sure. Extra saw left there hanging on the tree. Fire pit, some benches. That's pretty good. Oh, <laughs> check out all the sights up here. I'm only one person and a dog. We got room for like 20 people. Ah, it doesn't seem that busy right now, so I think we're gonna stay here anyways. The tent pads don't get much flatter than this. 
I'll get set up and give this site a try for tonight. All right, we're putting a lot of effort in this one. We're gonna see if we can get this rope up 50 feet so we can get that cool shot. Oh, I got it. That's it. I got it. It's a good thing I tied two ropes together. The second rope is all the way up to the top. I don't know if that worked or not, we'll see how it goes. But it did fall on me once. What a difference a few hours makes. Sure has turned out to be a nice day. The water has calmed right down. Just walking the beach here, seeing a few moose tracks. Looks like we're gonna be in for a nice evening. Time to go get some supper. What do you think, Scout? Time to get something to eat? Let's get something to eat. Let's go. All right. All right, dinner time. Just a few tortillas here for today. Give these a try. Go, you hungry? Get your bowl, Scout. You got it? Good job, all right. You got it, eh? You got it. Half a bag for you, Scout. Half a bag for you. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, pretty good start to day one. Looks like it's gonna be an awesome evening. Finish up here, and I think that's going to be it for now. It's pretty cool down last night, but that's all right. Even though we didn't have too much of a travel day yesterday, the long drive in really tired me out, and the cold weather made for some good sleeping. So today is a little bit of a different day. We don't have too far to go. We're just going to the east side of North Tea Lake. So there's no rush. We're gonna give it a little time to wait for it to warm up a little bit. We're gonna slowly break down camp, and we'll be back on the water, and we'll do some more exploring. The wind was really pushing us from the west, but since we rounded this corner over here, it's really calmed down. Today we don't have much to do today. I think we're just gonna spend our time stopping around and checking out some of these campsites and maybe we'll try and make our way to a couple of falls at the end over here. Up ahead you can see the leaves are changing already. Fall's coming. It'll be here before you know it. All right that's enough paddling for today. Time for a snack. Pop bread for Scout and a nut butter for me. Take it Scout. <laughs> You got it, you got it. So when we're paddling around the lake, I like to check out some of the campsites. Let's go out, run around, and I'll mark them on my map from a one to a five, a grading system that I have. Just in case it's late in the day and you're coming to a campsite, and you pull up to one and it's a two or three, and you're thinking, oh, if I just go to that next one, maybe it's gonna be that four or five, and you keep on going and it's a one, and another one, and your day just keeps on getting longer and longer. So I mark them on my map from a one to a five, one being the worst, five, being the best. As you can see there, I got a five, four, four, three. So if you're gonna get a five, you need a flat tent pad. You need a nice landing. If a beach is on there, that's gonna give you some bonus marks as well. And then this campsite, which I'm on now, I'm marking as a two because the water landing is terrible. It's full of rocks when the water's splashing up. It's hard to get up here. And there's also a steep incline to get to the tent pad. And while you're up here, there's no view. Sites that are least likely for me to take are ones that are on the portage trail with Scout. I can't let her loose because if someone starts walking down that trail, she's gonna spook them, that's for sure. So I try and avoid them. And I don't want anything that's too close to any other site. The one thing that's good about this site is that the falls are right across the lake. So we're gonna try and stop by there later on tonight 
And also there are no other campsites around, so that's another good thing. Also, while I'm here, I got a new product here. I got the Recreational Barrel Works Waterproof Map Case. A map made by paddlers for paddlers. So I guess that's gonna work. And so far, it seems pretty durable. The zipper is actually extremely good. It's got a couple hinge points or carabiner points, carabiner points right there. And also, yeah, I also got the uh, recreational barrel works external pouch that I'm trying. The one thing about this backpack is it gets too high when it's full. It interferes with your portage because it hits the canoe. So I put some couches on here as well. So I'm giving this one a try. And I don't know if you can see this barrel here or not, but maybe that's Kellen in there. What do you guys think? I just want to remind everyone to go buy my new book. I'm the Happy Camper. All right, off to see the falls. We've already had dinner. Gorgeous evening. Let's go check this out. It should only take us about 10 minutes to get over there, and I'm bringing my fly rod. Never used it before, so stick around if you want to laugh. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work, but we'll give it a try. Oh, I thought the falls were coming into this lake. I was wrong about that. Looks like we're going to have to go for a hike. Well, as expected, terrible to start off with. Now we're on the Portage Trail right beside the falls and we're gonna try and get closer to the bottom of the falls, see if it's any better over here, or if it's just user error. <laughs> Big jump, you better jump it. Good job, good job. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good job, Scout. Good job, Scout. Good job, good job, Scout. Good job, Scout. All right, yeah. Good job, Scout. I'll give this spot a try. Now, I know it's summertime, but. See how it goes. Well, no fish, use your error, I guess. I even missed one of the eyes on the rod, so that didn't help. And I got a major tangle, so that's it for now. <laughs> Time to head back to the canoe and maybe head back and try and sort this thing out. A little more difficult than I thought it was. Now let's see if Scout can get across these rocks, or even if I can get across these rocks. This is gonna be a little difficult, I think. Going for it? 
Are you going for it? Oh, she's going for it. Going for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good job, Scout. Good job, Scout. We'll be back here again tomorrow. This is the portage we're taking on our route. So, I'll give it a try tomorrow again. Let's head back. Scout is sniffing like crazy. She's letting me know something's around. Just walking back on the portage. It's a 500 meter portage. We walked to the end and now we're walking back. And the whole way there's red paint on a bunch of the rocks. So someone dragged their canoe the whole way. <laughs> Must have been a rental, I guess, that's for sure. More here. 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 The whole way painted rocks. <laughs> oh, man. Time to head back. Nice calm water. Fly fishing operator error, I guess. See you tomorrow. So we walked this portage two times yesterday. Today we're doing it three times. Once there with the bags, once back with nothing, and back again with the canoe. And when we get to the end, I think we're gonna try fishing again. I got the knot out of that fly rod. I don't know how I got the knot so far deep, but We'll try it again, see if there's any luck at the end. Well, it is considerably hotter today. Time for round two with the fly. Well, skunked again, no fish. I guess that fly fishing has a little bit of a learning curve. Okay, so that was the only portage we have to do, and now we get to paddle around Manitou and look for a campsite. All right, let's go check out and see what this site has to offer. Maybe that'll be enough paddling for today. Let's see what we got. All right, we got two nights to spend on Manitou Lake. We paddled down the one shoreline and found a campsite towards the end. It's a pretty nice campsite. And tomorrow we'll paddle around the opposite shoreline and see how that goes. Also, when first thing when I got up this morning at the other campsite, I stood on some wobbly rocks and took a nasty wipeout. Fell flat on my back. I took a rock right to the tailbone. I got a little bit of a scrape on the forearm there, but that's enough of me complaining. Now I've been holding secretly one toy for Scout the whole trip. One of her favorite toys, and now it's time to go play. Hey, Scout, let's go! Yeah. 
We're having pizza tonight, and I'm gonna try to get this going with the ferro rod. Got some nice birch bark here, but I got the lighter on standby just in case. Great way to finish the day guys, a nice Algonquin backcountry pizza. Takes a little more effort to put together, but when you arrive to your campsite a little bit earlier, you have the time to do it. So we got some rehydrated vegetables, we got some tomato sauce, some mushroom green olives, and topped up with some summer sausage. We have a nice campsite, I'm breaking into four. We were able to scope out a bunch of other ones, and this one was the best one for us. And we got a gorgeous evening, so I'm gonna finish this pizza, and I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. Day number four, we got quite a bit of breeze out there. Scout, get your bowl. So I think we're gonna stick it out here for a little bit. Maybe it'll die down. Have some breakfast, we're in no rush. We don't have to go too far. Good job, Scout. Good job, Scout. So we got a good spot anyways, so if it ends up that we have to stay here, we'll stay here. But otherwise, we'll just hold off a little bit. It's still paddleable right now, so maybe we will go out, but we'll just give it a little bit of time. We'll have some breakfast and we'll see what happens in the rest of the day. Take it, Scout. The wind hasn't eased up too much. It's still pretty consistent out there. I can see some white caps forming on the water. Lucky for us, we have two days booked on Manitou, so we really don't have to push it to get to our next destination. But the way the lake is right now, it's not really worth it for us to power through the whitecaps. The distance we're traveling on this trip is far less than what I would normally do. So we can easily make up the last time tomorrow. So we're just gonna hang out back here in the back of the woods and explore some of these animal trails. That was interesting. Uh, while we were out back hiking through the forest, I heard our motorboat engine go by. I wasn't sure what it was, I just thought nothing of it, but Scout started to act a little weird. And sure enough, she wanted to come to the front of the campsite, so we walked back up to the front of the campsite, and there was a motorboat on the shore. It was two park wardens here to check permits. I had my campsite all in order, nice and clean. Food bag was hanging while we were back there, just as it should be. Went and got my permits, everything's okay. That was the first time that's happened, but huh, that was a neat experience. So I hadn't initially planned to stay at this site another day, but I didn't feel like paddling through the wind if we didn't have to. So if you're going to plan a rest day, you might as well plan it for the middle of the week, so it kind of worked out for us. So I'm all rested up and I'm looking for a good travel day tomorrow. So I'm going to grab some dinner, hopefully this wind thins out, I'll see you guys. Good morning, day number five. I think the weight paid off. It's gonna be so much more easier to paddle in these conditions than fighting through that wind yesterday. We got a little bit of ground to make up due to that unexpected rest day that we had yesterday. We gotta paddle all across Manitou and halfway across North Tee before we start to look for our new campsite. But I think it's gonna be a good day because these paddling conditions are in our favor. Just to the right of me, that's where I wanted to go camp yesterday. 
I camped there before. It's a really nice campsite with a nice beach. That's where Scout did her breakfast run. Call this one the breakfast run. Scout's sitting way back there. Let's see how this goes. I see there's people there, so it makes me feel better that I didn't miss out on that spot. We might have been better off staying put yesterday. A lot of the sights on the way back were taken. Okay, only one portage today, and this is portage number four of six and we're on day five so not so bad like i said this was a portage light trip and there's campsites on the start at the start and at the end at the end of the portage so you had to be quiet because the people were still in the tent not too far scout heel easy cool. It seems like this pack is sitting right on the lower back where I fell on that rock. It's a little uncomfortable. Can you get up here? Go for it. Give it a try. Come on. Get up here. Can you do it? Stick the landing. Come on. Come on. Come on, up here. Come on, come on, all the way up, all the way up. Come on, all the way up. Come on, come on, come on. Can you get up, can you get up? Come on, stick the landing, come on. Stick the landing. Stick the landing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, you can't do it, eh? All right, the park is pretty busy. There's a lot of people still out. We passed more people today than we've seen in the first four days. And there's a lot of people at the campsites. Gonna have a snack, a pro bar for me, 400 calories, pretty much a mini lunch. And a meat bar for Scout. This one's for you, Scout, eh? Hold it. Dig it, all right, Scout, good job. So we just got a little bit further to go before we can start looking for a campsite. We're making good time. Hmm, that pro bar was pretty good. Maybe because it's day five, I don't know, but I don't usually go for full lunch. It's just usually snack along the way. That pro bar, 400 calories. Plus some uh, nuts as well. Could put me up around six to 800 calories for the middle of the day. That works out pretty good. Got a nice view at this campsite. All the way down North T and that's the way we'll be going tomorrow. This is what I was expecting it was gonna be like for a long weekend. I got five boats ahead of me and one boat behind me. We are busy here. We got ourselves a little bit of a sand dune here. Ready? Good job, Scout. Good job. All right, look at that. Good job, Scout. Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming back for you. Good job, let's go to the shop. I'll pick you up, don't worry. Good job, Scout. Good job. Swim it, good job, Scout. Good job, swim it, good job, Scout. Good job, that's a good dog, Scout. Good job. Oh, 
Scouts women lessons. I think she moved up a color today working on that lifeguard. So we got camp all set up. We were on Mango Tassie. There are three available sites to choose from, but one was taken when we got here. So we were on the northeast campsite. It was a fairly easy panel to get here because there wasn't much wind to deal with. But there's a little bit of breeze pushing in now, and as overcast skies are pushing out our sunny skies that we had all day. So I set up an emergency tarp. I'd rather be prepared just in case we get that shower so I don't have to scramble later on. I've been there before. This afternoon's been all about watching a bunch of canoeists paddle by us into North T. Looks like a lot of people are heading out for the end of the weekend. But for us, we still got two more days. And tonight, all we got left to do is get something to eat. Go, do you hungry? Yeah? Scout's bowl is full of water. <laughs> Let's go see what happens. Get your bowl, Scout. Get your bowl. Let's go, you walked right by it. Get your bowl. There you go. Get it, get it, bring it. <laughs> bring it. Bring it. Where's your bowl? Bring your bowl. Macaroni. The macaroni and cheese tonight. Water's boiling. All right, the final ingredient. Hot sauce, makes everything better. That's the final touch, finish it off. Ooh. See you tomorrow. saw a moose from the campsite, just on the other side of the lake. Let me see if we can get a little closer. See how long it takes before our scout starts to pick up the smell. Moose is long gone now, but this is where breakfast was taking place. It's sure gonna be a hot one today because I can really feel it heating up already. So today is the last day of the long weekend and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people heading out today. So we're spending one more night so we can avoid the rush and head out tomorrow. I know when I got up this morning, my lip felt swollen. I must have got bit by something overnight. So we don't have too far to travel today. We're just gonna try and find a campsite that's close to the access point. So it'll give us a good time to get out of here tomorrow. Always nice to see a moose on a trip. It's always a highlight. I recommend once you get up in the morning, go down to the shore and uh, just scan the other side of the lake. Good chance you're gonna see something.
Jump it, jump it, jump it. Let's have a look here. See if it's a, a map made by paddlers for paddlers. Still dry. <laughs> That's good. That's good. But on another issue, it's good to seem to cut her foot a little bit. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Now let's go see if we find another campsite. I think we'll try and get right up to the shore. Maybe we can catch the last bit of that shade before the sun is right above us. It's a hot one today. That was awesome. I don't know if the back camera was able to catch. Yes, that loon's been going constantly. I don't know if that back camera was able to catch that American Eagle fly right by. That was pretty cool. Yes, I hear you, loon. I hear you. I actually got a fish on. Should I try and get that other camera? Oh shit. Am I gonna lose it? What is. Oh ho 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 ho! ho. Monster bass. <laughs> ah, that camera screwed me up. We lost him. Well, not much, but I finally got one. Not skunk for this trip. Coming in, Scout. Are you coming in? Ah. Oh. oh, it's a long day. We really move slowly today. It's a long day. Rehydrated lasagna for dinner, and of course, some Frank's Buffalo hot sauce. I think I got a problem. I think that might be the last of them. Looks like we made a good choice to stay one more night. I wouldn't like to get stuck behind them in that portage traffic jam. We left our campsite around 11 a.m. this morning. We got here around four. We pretty much paddled across the entire North Northie Lake from east to west. And now from our campsite, tomorrow's portage is in sight. Conditions were perfect and we stopped often for Scout to cool down. Luckily her paw doesn't seem to be bothering her anymore. And since tomorrow's route is exactly the same way that we came in, I think that's going to do it for this trip to Algonquin's Northwest. We saw an amazing sunset, we saw stunning waterfalls, and we were lucky enough to catch a glimpse of Algonquin moose. So I hope you like watching the video. Once again, I'm Jay, that's Scout, the channel's Jay's Way. we reminding you to get out and explore, and we'll see you in the next one. Can't get rid of me that quickly, guys. Back for some fishing redemption. Check out what we got. Yes. 
Couldn't resist to put one more line out in the morning. A big smallmouth bass. Give them a quick measurement and then we'll send them back. Eighteen inches. Not bad. Nice one. So as I send him away, I'll send you guys away. Until next time, Jay's way. See you later. Recording? Yes. Take it. Stay, 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 stay. You weren't paying attention. Scout! 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 Oh, there you go. <laughs> take it, take it. Holy birds, keep it down up there. Logan, if you're watching, I caught this one with your favorite plastic worm. Thanks, buddy.